Things have been moving at an absolute rapid rate. We've worked pretty hard to get the outside of the house to lock up. And now that we're all sealed up, it's time to start working on the inside. This is where all the pretty stuff happens, so it's pretty exciting. Welcome to Long Jenny Renner. <laughs> <laughs> We've done an electrical layout, lighting layout, things can start progressing. Lighting plays such a key role in the mood of a house, so it is important. So you've got to walk through and essentially imagine yourself living in the space. We've got some functional down lights throughout and then we've also got some little wall lights going in here. So if you want to create that moody vibe, you can turn all the ceiling lights off and just have the little wall lights to guide your way like a plane. <laughs> exit lighting. <laughs> this way you've got a safety exit to your left. When you're doing a rough in for the lights and for the power points and everything like that, you want to make sure that you nail it because you cannot go changing certain things unless you, you have a, a builder bit. husband who's got to <laughs> turn himself into a rat and climb down the very narrowest part of the roof and lay across all the insulation. Oh, I'm just doing some yoga. I've had to crawl down there into that tight roof space, lay across all this insulation and um, try and find those wires with my head like right down in there. You can do one of each. We're not doing one. For our external walls, we've used Bradford's Gold, which gives it the insulation properties. And the internal walls is Bradford's Sound Screen. And that is great because not only does it help with the thermal efficiency of the home, but it also helps with noise. Not only do we have the Sound Screen insulation, but we've got the Super Check Diprop, which means this house is like a little Fort Knox. Basically, you're not going to hear, it's, every room is going to be like a little screamo room. You can scream in it <laughs> no, and you're not going to hear anything. No, it's just, it's great for families because that noise won't be bouncing around like crazy. But if you do want to make a little buck on the side, you could rent each room out to like a <laughs> screamo band and you could have like all these screamo bands and you're not going to hear anything. Another good property about the Duproc is it's high impact rated, which means all the screamos when they get all crazy and then start bashing the place to bits, <laughs> they're not going to ding the walls. So what we've done to enhance that traditional look in those front two bedrooms and bring it up to speed a little bit is use the Easy Ascot from Easycraft, which just basically sticks straight onto the plasterboard. It's a 900 panel. And really, it is such a great DIY project. And I'm telling you, you guys can do it yourself because people say, oh, you guys renovate all the time. You know how to do it all. But this is such an easy process. Basically our hero colour for this renovation is Torbman's cotton sheet and that will feature in most bedrooms. It's a really crisp white that's got a little bit of softness to it. And these rooms have the original timber floorboards and they are gorgeous but the problem is they are the only two rooms that feature this so we're really weighing up do we, do we make sure we tie it into the other spaces with the carpet or do we do something completely different and I do love carpet in a bedroom, particularly this gorgeous wool carpet, so that's the way we've gone. We're starting to see these spaces that, you know, we've spent so long designing and thinking about. It's good to see those start to come to life. Bedroom one, feature colour, we've chosen Torman's Snow Olive. I love olive at the moment, so this colour, Snow Olive, is great. There was a large window at the front of the first bedroom, which we obviously wanted to keep, but the framework needed replacing, so that's when we've decided to use that beautiful casement window. A big charm of this house was that it had that traditional sort of look and we wanted to be true to that in those front bedrooms. Those high ceilings and the ornate corners. So we played on that and we've been inspired by the original feel of the house. 
bedroom to wall panelling we've chosen Taubman's sisal rope and again it's a nice natural earthy colour. When you walk in you feel relaxed and grounded. From the panelling up to the cornice we've got the picker wall wallpaper which has got these beautiful palm tree patterns. This is great because it's a do-it-yourself wallpaper. We've got this beautiful bed from a local furniture designer and it just really, you know, you walk in there and you almost feel like, you know, you could be 10 again. The outer is the perfect balance of a modern and a traditional corner. I think it helps to tie the front bedrooms in with the rear of the house really nicely. When we were renovating Toowoom Bay, I was always on the hunt for some really cool surf posters that were nice and simple but had that coastal vibe that we're after and I couldn't find anything. We've designed our own with a local artist and we're really happy with these prints. We love them and particularly in the kids' bedrooms, these ones are fun. This room and that room are done and dusted and we are calling it a day. With bedrooms one and two done and dusted, we've started that snowball effect on the inside of the house. We're working on all this beautiful fit out, so the media room, the third bedroom, and those living spaces are coming to life. Coming up next on Long Jetty Renner. So the rat is back. I made the executive decision to change this colour. Walking away from the troubles in my life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that one anymore. Presented by Rams, your local home loan specialists.